Um. Why is the sky red? What did I do? What did I do? Um. I think. Who? What the hell? What are these obelisks? That's a triangle. They've made a triangle in it. No. Oh sh! <laughs> oh. Well, are you supposed to be out of the booth. I'm getting back in the booth. I don't know what else to say. I mean, I mean, just look at that thumbnail. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> I. I am not gonna mince words on what happened. Uh, it was very tragic what happened, but at the same time, it's like... Tragedy plus time equals what? Comedy. Exactly! It hasn't really been any time. I know, but I guess people are taking like the preemptive action of just going ahead and making fun of it, even though the tragedy is very much still fresh in people's minds. It really, out of the situation, I only feel bad for the younger dude. I do. I feel sorry for the for the you know to for like the people so who were I there. I actually heard he didn't even want to go. Yeah. So if that's true, I feel really bad for him. But like, yeah, his dad and everybody else in that sub kind of did that shit to themselves. Unfortunately, so yes. So it was literally like, oh wow, you're paying two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to potentially die in one of the scariest ways I can think of. <laughs> like, yeah. Under a, not to look, mention like all of the freaking warnings and stuff they had ahead of time that like it was probably not going to go well like that they just ignored. Here's one thing that I will always say when it comes to you know stuff in that nature you know under the sea in the ocean you don't cut corners. No. Don't. Negative. Yeah, the CEO of that thing especially I feel the least bad for him out of anyone like not at all bad because it was. He, he was a fucking moron. He he was an idiot. Yeah. He was a, an idiot that just was like was like oh it's it's so they're so anal with their they safety put precautions. safety precautions in place just to try to stifle inventions. Look, like I am all no. for people being inventive. I am all for people you know you know private investment and all that. I am all for people you know having the ability to do that, but. There's a reason why there are safety precautions. It's because people have come before and have seen, yeah, you need this, 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 and this. You can't just cherry pick, like, one or two out of that entire list and say, ah, we're safe enough. No, that's not how it works. Look, I get it when you're on a ladder at a workplace, you're running a cable through a hole across multiple beams, and you decide to just be like, your ladder. Like, no. Take it to the next hole. Yeah. I get it. I get it. But when you're dealing with the fucking deep sea or fucking outer space or fucking nuclear materials, listen to the fucking safety procedures. Exactly. You're putting more people at risk than just yourself. Yeah. See, if it's just you who's being the dumb shit. If it was just the CEO that went by himself, I'd be like, he took a really bad gamble and it didn't pay off for him. Yeah, you know, but exactly. He it's just like got the, other people killed. It's just like the dude that uh, that wanted to test out this new form of a uh, of a uh, of like audio of like uh, like aquatic travel device. It was basically a a boat that he had made custom, and he was just like, I don't want to put anyone else at risk. I will test it myself. Mm -hmm. And you know what? That man broke the speed record for how fast someone has traveled on water. But on his return trip, he died. Like the boat, the boat had a serious like malfunction, and upon the boat hitting the water, his boat, the boat basically disintegrated, and and he died. But the thing is, that man is remembered as a hero because he put himself at risk for something, and he died believing in something. Now, if the CEO would have just done this to himself then guess what? There are various groups out there that would probably see him as just like, he was brave and he tried his best. Like, he would at least be seen in he some ways least, as a martyr. Yeah, he becomes a martyr because he becomes a very good example of why you do follow those safety precautions. Exactly. But And when you don't gamble with trying not to follow Oh, them. God. But the fact that he dragged other people down with him, he had, he had to drag other people down with him. And that's what infuriates me the most. But, ugh. That this whole tragedy has just put me in bad in just bad sorts. 
I mean, I was hopeful that, you know, oh, they'll be found, they just lost propulsion, or they just lost, you know, like, the ability to surface, and, you know... Well, either way, like, they didn't really have anything that could bring it back up if they had, so they were probably well, screwed. Well, probably, but they would have still been able to, like, take, like, bring oxygen down there to them, potentially. Well, maybe. I don't and, know if they had a way to even pass oxygen into that vessel well, or anything. no, probably not, because I don't think they had the emergency, like air valve on that it. That thing was so bare bones, man. It was literally a tin can he sent to the bottom of the ocean. Almost. Yeah, and that's the shitty part. Yeah. Anyway, we have some offensive memes here. Uh, the compilation, If You Laugh, You Lose, Volume 40. Uh, we're just gonna laugh because it's my, la it's my last night before my procedure and I just wanna laugh. So, anyway, let's go. Let's, let's, let's laugh. Let's have some fun. They actually know that, you know. That's interestingly enough, uh, they can change. They can uh, change the tires mid-flight usually. Aiuto patriota, c'è una bomba, aiuto. Era. God damn it. Not just hanging around. Oh! Dear God, man. Iron Lung. I hope this doesn't delay Markiplier's Iron Lung film. I hope it doesn't. Because that'd just be stupid. Yeah. God's sakes, man, come on. I mean, it's true, but fuck. still exist because it's just like you see them just on the, on the deck of the Titanic having fun. What the actual fuck? Ah! Holy shit! No! <laughs> That's messed up. That's fucked. Who's talk to you? No. Kidnapped or enslaved? No. Look like a bitch. Yes, she, she is, is a princess. princess. <laughs> Shut up, Snow White. <laughs> oh. oh. Thanos just bitch slapped you. What the fuck? What the hell? Dude, are you serious? Homies! 
That would scare the shit out of me if I saw that on yeah, the subway. No but all of a sudden I look back and I see just random homies just standing there like, ah! I would think it's a fucking ghost or something. Mad bastard. Look at him. <laughs> look at him. Crazy all motherfucker. Right, yeah. Hello there. Like the video and Money Cat will share money and bitches with you. You don't have to ask me twice. Don't get me wrong, I love ice cream, but look at these people, bruh. Why you gotta be so creepy? <laughs> and he's like, hey, this shit good for you. And I look at this, look at this country. Oh my god, bruh. And Timmy's like, I love banana pops. Sus. Oh my god. You talk about them being creepy, and then you go ahead and you thirsty ass motherfucker. That is the biggest pumpkin I've ever seen. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas is coming early, huh? You need help with that? I think you need help with that. Listen, I got you. I got you, sweetheart. I got you. Oh. Thank you. Anyways, back to what I was trying to tell you. You could be my little pumpkin spice if you really want to. You know that, right? I could, I can hold the back of your hair just like this. I mean, um, <clears throat> the cart. Why do you have just two onions? Go for a stroll. Walk away. Walk away. Oh my god. That's gotta be his oh, girlfriend or something. Easily. <laughs> yeah, I I hope so, because if not... If not, this guy needs to fucking settle down. This guy, yeah. Call, cool your jets, Coolio. Alright, just, just, like, pump your brakes. I was gonna say, it... Animal rights activists doing the equestrian arts. Mm -hmm. GTA. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I'm gonna teach you a lesson. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you are going down. <laughs> San Andreas <laughs> physics, oh, Jesus. Shit. I don't need this shit. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, shit. Motherfucker. You're a wizard. A what? A wizard. And a thumping good tonight, wager. Let's trade up a little. No. Now I'm black. That was my home. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Oh, he's cancelled. <laughs> you really are. Yeah, me? Uh, I don't need this shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. Voldemort with a shotgun. <laughs> Maybe I'll so stupefying. <laughs> Pam. I bought a cadaver. Holy shit! <laughs> what is this mod? I need it! I'm on a maximum. Grand Theft Auto, Avada Kedavra. Uh, there's literally a scene in uh, Legacy where like uh, these two douchebags walk into the uh, tavern. And like they start to call shit, and all of a sudden everybody stands up and pulls out their wands. And it looks like something from a western where everybody's just like, <laughs> yeah, and they're just like, oh, we'll leave. <laughs> hey, 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 we're sorry, we're sorry. Hey, no beef, no beef. We're, we're bouncing. What I do? What I do? What I do? Back up! Oh, is he Millie rocket on my ass? <laughs> yes, he is. Yeah. Zelda. Oh. Link. Oh boy, smooching time. Oh, no. Nope. Happily, moderately, ha relative. I am. I am married. Oh, then I suppose your wife is entitled to know that you were still in love with me just days before your wedding. <gasps> Blackmail. No. <laughs> <laughs> so mean. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. 
Yeah. Accurate. Ginger. G I N G E R. There. Hey. What's so hard about that? Hey. No. Stop. Just <laughs> calm down. <laughs> Goku, let the man cook. Don't do it. <laughs> Remember what I taught you. Relax my throat and make eye contact. No, no, the fighting stuff. <laughs> How come I never thought to do this meme? I could have done this. <laughs> Damn it. So then, I crush them with these bad boys. Well, can you, like, put them away? Oh, sure I can. <laughs> neuron at yeah, pure neuron activate. Damn! Like, get your ass back in the kitchen, motherfucker. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, baby, what you gonna do about it? What? <laughs> Gender equality until it time, it's time to shovel the snow. I was gonna do it. I was Shut up. <laughs> Holy shit. What the hell was that? It was, a it was like fire paper. I've seen that used a few times. It's actually really cool. <laughs> respect, respect. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> Poor girl. That hurts so bad. Poor Sam. Oh. Holy shit! <laughs> It'd be like me trying to crowd surf, man. I ain't gonna do that shit. Like, I'll throw Jake's skinny ass out there before I try to crowd surf. Imagine me or Keith trying to crowd surf. That shit ain't happening. <laughs> throw Jake or Kathan out there. Fight's gonna be insane, dude. Hey, you're gonna get knocked out, homie. Oh my god, dude. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, she got knocked down. Get knocked out, homie. It's me for a view. She got knocked down. Go for you. Oh my god. Hey! Oh, hey. Give me the oh, You'll get crossed up. Oh! Ah, uh, that's no, no! I thought Big Man was gonna get crossed up. Turns out his D was pretty solid. Aren't you not allowed to move again after you stop? That's dribbling? the tra well. No, he traveled. But in terms of street ball, like most of the time, they don't give a shit on traveling. Yeah, I've heard of Because I've seen like street ballers like T. Jass and uh, you know like Moot and and uh, oh, who's the uh, professor. I've seen them like do the thing like where they travel. But honestly, in street ball, they don't give a shit. And actually, that's the that's called a bitch move. Whenever you call traveling in street ball, that's traditionally what. There's a list of bitch moves, and that's one of them. Another bitch move is calling foul after you've taken the shot and you've seen that you've missed. Like if you, if, like if you get fouled in mid shot, 
and like you call foul and whether it goes in or whether it misses it's cool but if you shoot it and you see that you missed and then all of a sudden you're like uh foul foul then you're a bitch hate saying that but it's true <laughs> Maverick, can you say mama? Say mama. Can you say mama? Well, at least oh. you're trying. <laughs> what a good puppy. Cockatoo. <laughs> Don't fuck with the birdie. Oh, do it! Do it to him! Do it to him! Oh my god. I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. How fast. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> Deer's just like, little help. A uh, little help would be appreciated. Oh. Hey, you made a friend. <laughs> no, he brought his family. He brought all of his friends. Dude, that's so cool. I love that, man. As much as, you know, me and my dad have been hunting deer, it's like, I respect the hell out of deer. And it's just, you know, it's the cycle of life and everything. But, you know, I, I, I don't go out of my way to kill deer, man. That's just... That's just ignorance because I love deer. <laughs> He's stuck. Got to talk <laughs> shit and then immediately turn bad for you. Where did you all get this video of me? I am angry that I was not credited in this video of me. <laughs> oh god he don't like what he sees <laughs> this little fucker is a rogue u.s military asset and a danger Pray. to public safety norad has deployed <laughs> reaper drones equipped with <laughs> missile systems to conduct global orbital sweeps ready to scramble at the first satellite picture of him if you let him near your girlfriend or wife, he is guaranteed to play with her hair. He'll grab your bed sheets with his teeth and spin around to twist them into some barbaric fake nipple while humping it and baking his little beans on it because he misses mommy. If you spot him from a distance and he hasn't ascertained your position, your orders are to egress and RTB. Yeah. Been there a couple times. Yep. What a dick. He takes a little bit of everyone else's. And if and if anyone else tries to take it, he ruins it. it. Nobody can. Exactly, he ruins it for everyone else. He's like, and fuck y'all. Careful. Careful! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> he getting angry. He gonna bite it. Quit! I've never been so disrespected in my life. Big boy, we got a problem. Oh, hey, we got a problem. We got a problem. Uh oh. That's for his cat. He'll feed him once we're done with this. Yeah. <laughs> Sneak 100. Bruh. 
Bruh. What's up? <laughs> oh, the platform. Your ankles are broken. Yeah, surely broken. I bought him to... <laughs> oh shit! Ah! <laughs> That's your own fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a dick. Chicken. <laughs> Yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah. The instructions and the first step is to use the tip of this to kind of, I guess, clean it out. So I'm just gonna rub this on here. Now we take this and just a little touch up. Okay. It's kind of blending polish. in. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, I let it dry, and up close you can kind of see it, but if you take a few steps back, it's not even noticeable. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! I was, I was thinking happen. that was going to be the okay. case. Oh, oh you son of a... <laughs> it's a fake baby. <laughs> <laughs> God dang it. That's good. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Might want to remember to uh, mute that music, though, because probably get copyright for that. Yeah, true. Uh oh. <laughs> Aquí en la playa con Julio, relajándonos un rato. Aquí corpo. No se crea, no este pendejo. You came out too far from the goal. Really, dude. These men are paid millions of dollars. <laughs> and I'm sorry, but if you're on my team. And you miss a penalty shot that easily. I am taking away half of your money. <laughs> this isn't like like the NFL field goal thing. No. Ninja was an idiot when he said that stuff. <clears throat> this man was literally like 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 how far is he from, from the goal line? Like right there. Like he literally could have just it's like, a, tapped it with the side of his foot. It's, it's like, like a Away he from the goal line. The it's like a foot. It. It's like a foot away from the goal he line. He wanted it to slap against the back of the net. Well, like just instead, it's gonna slap against the top of the fucking arena. Yep. You sent that thing. You sent that thing into the lower atmosphere. What's wrong with you? Yes. That. That's a banger song. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> Your roommate blasting Nickelback after a breakup. I'm cutting the breaker off in his room. I was going to say, you'll never have to worry about that with me. So. I am glad, Nick, and I thank you for that. Not only because I'll probably remain single for the rest of my <laughs> life, but also because fuck Nickelback. <laughs> only like one song by Nickelback, and it's not a breakup song. Side of the Bullet? one of their newer ones I don't forgot the name of it oh <clears throat> I like Side of a Bullet because uh, uh, Dimebag Daryl helped write the solo for it I'm trying to remember how it goes no you won't get you won't catch me singing that middle of the road bullshit this isn't gonna 
ran well. Oh, oh, oh Eddie! <laughs> oh my God, Eddie! <laughs> That looked fun before he ended up on his head. Eddie. (laughs) I could have told you that wasn't going to end well. Eddie the Beast Hall is like almost 400 pounds. (laughs) And he's... And I don't sit in the basket chair we have on our front porch because I'm too big. (laughs) Eddie easily outweighs me by at least 50 pounds and is a lot more muscular than me. Did you know that there's a movie with more visual effect shots than Avengers Endgame? I mean, I assume that's Spider-Man No Way Home then, right? <laughs> no, it's not even a Marvel movie. This film came out in 2015, and there's 4,500 VFX shots. In what movie is this? Young man, there's no need to feel down. I said, young man, what? What the fuck? That is... Uh, okay. In terms of breaking the meta, that is easily, to me, one of... Because I've seen these videos all over YouTube shorts. It's top videos, or top part of the video is like a podcast or something like that. Bottom half is a Minecraft clip. And I hate to say it, but this is a way to break the meta that that literally shifts it. And I hope it does shift it to get people out of that same bullshit... So like I, I agree with everyone, like or at least a few people I've heard talk about it. It's like, dude, if you put Minecraft jumpy footage in your clip, I didn't hear hardly anything you just said. Exactly. Like they're trying to compensate for people's ADHD by like doing something that'll keep their attention. But I'm like, mine's bad to the point where like I'm going to concentrate on that Minecraft footage so hard I just missed everything else that was going on. Yeah. The effect shots. What movie is this? <laughs> Yeah, oh god, is it? Yeah. Oh, you finally made it. Didn't think you'd bring snacks. <laughs> Please don't think you know what they say in French. Mi casa. That's Spanish. Anyways. Easy. I love you too. Like a house tour? Don't worry, I won't show you the basement yet. You'll get to see enough of that later. <laughs> I'm supposed to believe you. Why are you sitting so far away? Come on, let's watch some TV. <laughs> a woman after my own heart. <laughs> ah, yes, a woman of culture, I see. Want a drink? You want both? Now we're having spaghetti, spaghetti, or we're regretting. I said, you're already regretting the state. Don't worry, you won't be remembering anything by tomorrow. Hello? Where did you go? Hello? <laughs> Dude. Uh, okay. I've heard the phrase, don't stick your dick in crazy, but... At that point, man, if it'll get me out of the house, just give her the dick, man. Jesus. You're in a horror movie at that point, though. No, I know. And I just have to ensure that, you know, we go somewhere that she's not going to have access to any knives, ice picks, broken pieces of glass, ropes. Just... uh, Actually, it's her house, so she probably has hidden all that shit to where it's easy to access. Fuck, there's no way out. Damn. Damn. (laughs) <laughs> I've okay I'll say this I've never dated like a clingy woman who's ever like begged me to like stay or anything like that I have I know you have because you've you've regaled me multiple times and you know what in some ways I envy it and in other ways I'm just like huh sounds too much work sounds like too much work but um the girl that I that was close to doing that uh one minute she wanted me to stay, and the next minute she was just like, I want you to stay, but only if you want to. But I really want you to. Are, are you, are you going to stay? As a matter of fact, don't, don't, don't forget about that. Uh, uh, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. It's like, uh, I didn't even get a word in edgewise. It's just like, I give me a minute to process everything that's going on. like Because like, you know, this is pretty, pretty, cra- pretty crazy. But, all right. Yeah. <clears throat> Not as many of the, like, 
under the ocean, uh, like, going searching for that submarine memes that I was expecting. There were quite a few in the beginning, but eventually it just, like, went into regular meme territory. And honestly, I, I liked this one. This is a pretty good meme comp. Yeah. Got some good laughs out of this. So, anyway, I think that's going to do it. So, until next time, be sure to check out more from uh, Gemstone uh, Memes. Uh, I think that's the name of the... Yep, there they are. And if you want to see more from us, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell. And we'll see you in the next one, everybody. Peace.